Okay, so last week, as you probably know, I went down to the uh, Apple Store um, here in Tyson's, and I bought myself a new 8GB iPod Touch, and I promise you I'll give you a review, so that's what this video is going to be. Uh, I hope you enjoy the review. Alright, so obviously here we have the iPod. Um, I've kind of moved into the iPod uh, in terms of like what I've put on it. So basically, uh, I've got a couple pages that I bookmarked. Uh, like right here, you can see I have Mac Rumors. Um, so it's just a little shortcut. Shortcuts are awesome. I couldn't do that on my uh, Arcos before. Let me just close this. Alright, um, what else? I've added instant messaging application. Whoops. My bad. Don't have any photos. Um, I had an instant messaging, which is uh, pretty cool. So I can now instant message from my uh, iPod. Uh, this is just my Gmail, I think. Although this instant messaging program does uh, all. Uh, it does like anything pretty much. It's just Gmail's the one I use the most. That's the only one I've set up so far. Uh, I've also set up mail to do my email. Um, I've set up. Eh, I don't know. I think. No, I set up the weather, obviously. For Washington, which is probably the closest city to where I live Washington, D.C. Um, yeah, we've got. Uh, this is all the program. Some of the programs that I've added. I've added. Uh, Program called Cellfire, which is basically coupons for the iPod, except they don't have any in my area. Oh, they do now. Cool, they didn't have last I checked. Right, I'm gonna have to go through these later, I guess, once I have more. No, it's not that many. Uh, whatever. Alright, so, uh. Daily Poll is just this polling thing, which I don't use too much because I don't like its interface. I don't know why polls need to use your location, that makes no sense, but whatever. Um, so yeah, you have to like... I don't know, there's something I want to answer. Um, okay, register to vote. So you gotta click on it, then you say like uh, yes or no or whatever, and um, then it shows you the thing. And then you can go to the next poll. It's just that I don't like the interface as much as this other program, uh, which is another voting thing called iVote. Uh, I just, I don't know, I really like the iVote interface a lot more for some reason, even though it's pretty similar. It's just, I think it's easier to get around to stuff. Obviously, I've answered all these already. But uh, if there's one that I hadn't answered, um, I just go onto it, you vote on this screen, then it'll show you what everyone else has voted. You can add comments and stuff. That's pretty cool. Alright, so, um, Mighty Docs just allows you to get to documents that are stored on here. I've got like several documents in email that, uh, are on here. Um, movies just helps you find movies. Simplify is the program I was talking about uh, during my unboxing video. It allows you to access your uh, music collection from your computer over Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool, though I haven't actually used it yet. I thought I would really use it, but I just haven't. Don't know why. This is pretty cool when it works, because it doesn't always work for some reason. Um, but basically, it allows you to see traffic cams in your area. It's like if I go to Virginia, I can go to Fairfax County. You can choose like any of these streets. Got yeah, lots and lots and lots of streets. Let's say I choose Braddock Road, which is a road pretty close to here. So it'll do this and just tap it, and there's the traffic camera. And it's not moving right now for some reason, probably because it's not working. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so for some reason it like skips backward a little bit. I'll go like one step backward and two steps forward or whatever. I don't know, but it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, I've got RDP, which is a thing that allows you to control a server, uh, which I don't use since I don't have a server, and I didn't know that when I downloaded it, I just been too lazy to delete it. Package Tracker allows you to just 
track packages, but I don't have any packages I'm tracking, so that's very unuseful for me. Uh, VNC allows you to control your computer from your iPod or iPod Touch. This is, or iPhone, rather. Uh, yeah, this is just really cool. You see, this is what I have on my computer screen right now. I can scroll around. I can open programs, though I'm not going to do any of that right now. But yeah, this is my computer on my iPod, which is pretty awesome. Um, what else I got? I got a uh, Yahoo Answers program, although I prefer to use the desktop, like the one on the computer. I find it a little bit easier to use. Um, I've got, obviously, the iTunes store, which I don't use since uh, I don't buy music. Um, eBay, which, again, I prefer the one on the computer, because it's just, there's like more search things you can do, and it's overall better, but I love eBay, so I had to get that. Anyway, these are my games. Um, I have this game I purchased for two bucks called Wordle, which is awesome. If you ever play Boggle, it's sort of like that. You just have to make words in the given amount of time. Like, right now, it's set for two minutes, so like, if I do tap, that's a good one, tat, tut, tuts. Uh, I don't know. Um, dust. So yeah, you just kind of do stuff like that, and if you get a lot of words, you can be on the high score. Hangman, obviously you all know what this is, but it's still fun. Even though the keyboard doesn't work that well since they added their own. Uh, Audi driving challenge. You just turn it like this, tell it to start. And you drive while controlling with the accelerometer. Now I'm trying to do this through the camera, so I'm not very good. I'm well, not very good anyway. And just try to not hit as many cones as you can. I'm still getting used to this accelerometer thing. Anyway, uh, Tap Tap Revenge, you probably all heard of. But it's uh, still very fun. Say one player. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to choose that. Ah, whatever. So you just choose a song and... Uh, tap as the things come down. I have the speaker off right now, so that's why you can't hear anything. Pretty fun. Um, oh, oh, whoops, I double tapped. Uh-oh, it's still going, okay. Yeah, double. if you double tap the home button, it took me a while to figure this out, but it'll, you can control your music just by double tapping, no matter where you are, which is pretty cool. Um, Nutello, I need to get a different version of this, because obviously this is in a language I do not speak. Well, it's in English too, but I don't know, I find it kind of hard to do like this. So, I don't play that much, obviously. Remote, you've probably also heard of. It's a program available from Apple, which allows you to control your iTunes library from your iPod or iPod Touch. So, like, this is my playlist. I can go into, like, albums, for instance. And I got all my music here, which is lots of random crap that probably does not go together, which is why when I open up Genius, it seems to never work. Um, so yeah, it's all the programs I have. Of course, I've got all my music on here, too. I don't have any um, uh, movies just yet, but uh, hopefully those will come soon. Uh, so anyway, as for the review of the hardware... Whoops, what did I just open? Oh, yeah, I have like a pod video podcast. So anyway, review for the hardware and OS and everything. So obviously, the new iPod is a lot slimmer than the old one. It's sleeker, it's got the nice shiny back. Um, the thing is though, the back is like curved, sort of like the iPhone. So if you set it down, like on a table, it spins like really easily, which is not very good. Uh, because right, I don't know if you can see this, but right between the Apple logo and the word iPod, there's lots and lots and lots and lots of little scratches because uh, you set it down somewhere and you touch it and the whole thing moves and it scratches. So yeah, I've only had this for a week and I've been very gentle on it, but it's already covered in scratches, which is not very cool. Um, yeah, we got the volume controls integrated into the side right here, which come in very handy. It's just so much easier to do that than having to double tap and adjust it. Um, what else? The battery life is pretty good if you're playing music. If you're doing, like, web browsing or anything, it's horrible. But it recharges very fast. It recharges in, like, three hours through the USB port, which is insanely fast. Um, okay, this is already up to 
almost 10 minutes, we're going to have to do a second part.